Five with Megan Kelly. Developing tonight, fresh fallout surrounding a controversial new law in California. The measure, which critics are calling the bully bill, forces pregnancy centers to provide their clients with information about public programs that offer access to abortions. Shannon Bream in Washington with the story. Shannon. Megan, California is telling family planning clinics, even if they're pro-life crisis pregnancy centers, that they must provide patients with information about how they can go about getting an abortion, even if that's in direct conflict with the clinic's whole purpose. Providers must have either a prominent sign posted in the waiting area or actually give the information to clients in hard copy or digital form. A coalition of pro-life groups and clinics has filed suit saying the requirement undermines their entire mission and forces them to contradict their own viewpoint. They argue that California has no legitimate, compelling government interest in forcing pro-life groups to give patients information about abortion. The First Amendment protects the freedom of speech. It also protects your freedom not to have the government force you to speak the government's message in favor of abortion. We reached out to Governor Jerry Brown's office for a comment. We wanted to ask him about why there isn't any exception for faith-based or pro-life clinics. His office said his signature on the bill speaks for itself. Clinics that don't comply face a first-time fine of $500, and each time after that, the fine jumps to $1,000. The lawsuit against this new California measure names both Governor Brown and Attorney General Kamala Harris, a prominent Democrat who's now running for Senate, as defendants. The pro-life groups have asked for an immediate injunction to stop enforcement of the law, and we're now waiting to hear from the court to see if it may take that step while the underlying legal dispute plays out. Megan? Shannon, thank you. For more on this, we turn to Elise Hogue, president of NARAL Pro-Choice America, and Lila Rose, the president of Live Action. Thank you both for being here. So, Lila, Thanks, what, what is your objection to this law? There's two big objections. First of all, this is a, a full-on assault against the freedom of speech. Every pro-life pregnancy care counselor offering not-for-profit, free, comprehensive care for women coming in, other options. And secondly, it's forcing them to promote abortion. And secondly, this is an abortion industry dream come true. They're trying to cut out the competitors and take away the other options for women in the state of California and say that, no, you don't have these other options. You have to be offered abortion. And ultimately, that's $500 to maybe $8,000 for the later term abortions that the abortion industry and the abortion facilities stand to gain every time a woman walks there because okay. they're being promoted that by the pro-life pregnancy care center. Elise, would you be okay, because your group helped co-sponsor this law, would you be okay if the law also required all abortion clinics and Planned Parenthood to have notices saying this is where you can go to help with uh, pregnancy planning, uh, adoption options, and alternatives to abortion? You know, one of the things that uh, we differ with Lila on about this is that this is not about freedom of speech. The counselors at pre crisis pregnancy centers don't actually have to change anything that they're saying. All they have to do is post public signage that gives the woman the right to know what her legal options are in the state of California. And we think that right to know that regardless of how any individual feels about abortion, we can all agree that women do better with access to information. Okay, but we if think that's, that's true. What so let me ask you this, Elise. If that's true, then would you support a, you know, a law mandating the posting of information on family planning and where you can go for adoption options in Planned Parenthood and other abortion clinics? And would you be okay if you think more information is better with a mandate that, License, that the abortion uh, clinics Megan, have to tell the yeah. women what's, what their fetus looks like before Licensed, they abort it and um, what will happen during the abortion procedure? Licensed clinics already actually adhere to this law. They provide options about uh, information about options from adoption to prenatal care to legally accessible abortion. Mm -hmm. That is already happening. At least uh, it was happening Lila. before this it's law. It's totally. I mean, Planned plan, plan Parenthood and abortion. Hold on, they well, plan well, Lila, and then I'll go back out. to Elise. Planned Parenthood and abortion facilities, their focus is abortion. Over 90% of pregnant women walking into a Planned Parenthood are going to end up having an abortion. Their focus is abortion. It is a full-on assault on the freedom of speech, and it's forcing pro-lifers to be posting abortion ads effectively in their facilities. Where is it going to stop? Is California going to force churches or pro-life families or Catholic schools to, force, to, to post abortion notices okay, everywhere? This is an extremely is sick law. Go ahead, Elise. 
<laughs> uh, as I said, this is not about freedom of speech. It's not about freedom to worship however anyone chooses to worship. What it is about is about setting a baseline threshold of what people that are licensed or what licensed health facilities are required to offer to their candidates. And I would ask Lila what she's so frightened of for women to have all the information about all of their options. Go ahead, Lila. Because that's what, what they're what getting the, what, in all of the other what health this, facilities. What this is about, Elise, is it's about abortion facilities, the NARAL lobby, your lobby, National, National Federation for, for Abortion Clinics, NAF, about Planned Parenthood trying to up abortion numbers. At the end of the day, the focus is abortion. That's why NARAL, why would they want to up abortion numbers? NARAL, NARAL NARAL is against every abortion regulation and restriction. NARAL is against term limits on abortion, trying to limit the gestation that you can kill the preborn child at. This is the real agenda of the groups that are behind this law. And All so right. it's uh, hurting the freedom I'll of speech and pregnancy word, care please. workers. And it's Thank hurting you. women and children in California. There is, there is a reason that a supermajority of self identified Catholics, Republicans, and support the Reproductive Fact Act. It's because we know that women do better when we have access to all of the information about all of our options. And California should be proud that they're leading the way on this. All right. Thank you both. We appreciate the respectful debate.